Here we are in Chatswood again. We love coming to Chatswood. And you know what? It's already the 2nd of August, 2024. It's a Friday afternoon. Beautiful day today, not too cool. So listen, people, this year is just slipping away. And there's an urgency on us to be out here every day speaking to people because people need to be saved. They need to have their eternity secured. Walking past doesn't do anything. I say it to people all the time. People need to think about their eternity. So we're here today with an urgency on our heart to see many, many people giving their heart to Christ, being safe in his hand. Yes, people don't know what I'm talking about. Sometimes they look at me very strangely. Yeah, I all right, then. All righty then. <laughs> okay. Well, there you go. There's an introduction to Chatswood. We get all sorts of people coming past saying, all righty, all righty. Okay. All righty, get your heart right with Jesus. Come and pray with me, man. He don't, he's an atheist. He apologizes. There you go. There's another one. All right. So today we're going to have a talk about Jesus Christ. Always about Jesus. Always about the gospel. About the good news that he came to this earth. And it says in Philippians that he... He came out of glory. He came into this earth, became human, died on the cross, went to the grave, rose again, and then he went back to glory. He did the full round trip back to glory. I'm just going to read the scripture now so we understand where it's, it's Philippians 2, and it's verses 6 to 9. And Jesus said this, or Paul said it actually, under the guidance of the Holy Spirit. He said, Jesus, talking about Jesus, who being in very nature God, did not consider equality with God to be used to his own advantage. So what does that mean? Jesus, if you remember, if you know, is God. A lot of people want to argue about that, but he is God. He was God before time began. He was there in the beginning. John 1.1 1, 1 says he, Jesus was there right from the beginning and he was God. So he was in glory. He was experiencing everything that the God of this universe experiences as far as being all-powerful, all-knowing, all-present everywhere. And he came to this earth. He relinquished his rights if you want to put it that way he relinquished his position as god of this universe why would he do that that's an amazing thing that he would leave his place in glory and come to this earth if you can think of it in this way people that jesus christ as god was ever present he was everywhere and he deemed to be reduced to a human being in the womb of Mary came out of omnipresence into the restricted place of a small womb of a Jewish girl in this earth amazing I mean why would Jesus do that you've got to say it's sacrificial love he loved us so much, and we did not deserve it, but he loved us so much that he came to this earth, became human. And it said that Jesus didn't take advantage of his deity. He never lost it, but he didn't take advantage of it. Rather, he relinquished his rights. It says he made himself nothing by taking on the very nature of a servant and being made in human likeness. Now that in itself is an amazing act of love. But it doesn't stop there. He went to the cross. He died a terrible death. A death that was reserved for people who weren't Roman. Because it was so cruel, if you were a Roman citizen, they'd do something a little bit less cruel. But if you were not a Roman citizen, they used crucifixion. It's a terrible way to die you know anything about it, you'd die a hundred times 
before you actually die. It's designed to be cruel. It's designed to be amazingly painful. Jesus Christ did that and he knew. This is the thing. This is why he sweated blood in the Garden of Gethsemane. He knew what was in front of him. So why did Jesus come to this earth? Why did he do it? He came to die. That's the truth of it. That's why he came, to die. He knew it. At any time he could have said, Legion of Angels, get me out of here. I'm not going to do this anymore. But he didn't. He stayed the course. He did it for us. He cared for us. He went all the way. He destroyed sin. He took away the sting of death. And he rose again. And he returned. It says, And being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. So that's what Jesus did. Why did he do it? And who did he do it for? He did it because he loved us. He did it because there was no other way. Adam sinned and humanity fell. One sin and humanity fell. One act of disobedience and humanity was lost. It would take more than another Adam to get this thing right. That's why Jesus had to come with his divine nature and his human nature so that the iniquity of us all could be laid upon him. He did it for us. He cares for us. Every person. The Bible says, John 3.16, For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever would believe on him would not perish, because all of us are perishing without Jesus. That's why we're out here. 100% for every person who does not know Jesus Christ. We do not want you to perish. God does not want you to perish. He's given the solution. You must receive it. Without it, you cannot enter heaven. Jesus said, unless you're born of my spirit, you cannot enter heaven. We're out here today for people. We're going to remain here. And we will we'll see many people praying to receive the Lord Jesus Christ as their Savior. Praying to receive that wonderful gift of grace and mercy and kindness, loving kindness from God himself. There's no price on it. The price has been paid. We have been redeemed from the curse of the law, from the curse of Adam. We have been redeemed. The price has been paid. Jesus said, it is finished. To tell us day. It is finished. Once for all, sacrifice. Nothing more can be done. There's no further sacrifice for sin. You can only receive what has been done. No amount of good works will get you to heaven. It's only Jesus in your heart, in your life. You must ask him in. But today, we're here for you. And we're here to share the gospel. We're here to pray with you. We're here to see many people out of the kingdom of darkness and into the kingdom of God Almighty through Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit of the living God. So we just thank you, people of Chatswood. Come and get your heart right with him today. He loves you. He cares for you. He wants you safe, but you have to come and pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.